Today, I want to expose a common way by which people take in bad cholesterol into their system. The interesting thing is that some of us are not even aware of it. The beauty of it, however, is that there is a way out of it. It is totally avoidable. When you boil your meat and it produces stock, or more accurately, broth, you are actually releasing some of the fat in the meat into the boiling water. The heat of your boiling causes the fat to melt into the water. This fat is usually solid at room temperature. What does that tell you? That means it is a very bad fat. As a rule of thumb, any fat or oil that is solid at room temperature is not healthy for you. They belong to a class of fats called the saturated fatty acids. The good fats are the polyunsaturated fatty acids PUFA. You hear that? Unsaturated. The good, but the saturated ones which are solid except you heat them up, are the bad guys. In fact, we know that animal sources of fats and oil are generally not healthy for our heart health because of the bad cholesterol they have in them. Preference should be given to the plant sources like coconut oil, groundnut oil, sunflower oil, soya bean oil, olive oil, avocado oil and vegetable oil. And I mean the real vegetable oil not the adulterated ones, the aboros. You will notice that if you allow that meat broth to settle for a while and cool, the fat will come together and become solid. In some cases, when it's a lot, you will almost be able to cut out shapes from the formed fat. Some of us who try to be smart and economical will now even separate that fat part. Pack it and add it up to your oil at home or use it as oil to fry other things. You will hear some people say, that they usually fry certain meat with the oil that comes out of the meat and they will be feeling happy as per they have saved oil in the spirit of good management that to you may be good oil management but it is bad health management so now that you know please get rid of that fat in your broth as much as you can I am not saying that you should not make do with your meat stock it sure adds a flavour to whatever you add it to but before you use it Get rid of the tallow using a fat separator. Alternatively, allow your broth to cool. If possible, allow it rest for up to a day. Or better still, refrigerate it. By then, the tallow will be well formed and compact. You will see it as a hard, thick, whitish or light yellowish waxy substance. Floating on top of your stock, which you can then easily decant or sieve away. That way you can eat your meat and use its broth gently and healthily. Thank you for liking this video and sharing it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Dr. Health Geek for more health empowering contents. Remember, your health comes first.